And we have breaking news tonight as prosecutors have charged yet another Russian with conspiracy for trying to influence U.S. politics. Tonight, the Department of Justice just announced her arrest just hours ago for acting as an unregistered foreign agent. Now, the goal to exploit personal connections that she formed here to advance Russian interests. Now, this comes on the same day that in a joint news conference with Russian President Vladimir Putin, President Trump questioned his own intelligence agency's conclusions about the Russian meddling in the 2016 election. People came to me, Dan Coates came to me and some others, they said they think it's Russia. Uh, I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. So I have great confidence in my intelligence people. But uh, I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. The trust placed in Putin has led to a strongly worded bipartisan criticism of President Trump. Senator John McCain slammed it as one of the most disgraceful performances by an American president in memory. House Speaker Paul Ryan adding that the president must appreciate that Russia is not our ally. And the former CIA director calling the comments nothing short of treasonous. Now, Indiana senators are also speaking out tonight. In fact, Democrat Joe Donnelly says this is a setback for American national security. And Republican Todd Young says we must deal with Moscow from a position of strength and unity. And continuing coverage of this historic meeting will continue on NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. That's right here only on Channel 13 at 630.